Hello. Wireless vocal set. A flexible, high quality professional system for your wireless vocal needs. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to hook it up so that you can hear the sound of this system. Okay, now that I have everything set up, I will mention right away that I'll be using the E835 microphone as well as the wireless receiver to record the audio for the majority of this video. I hope it gives you the best impression of the audio quality of the microphone as well as the wireless reception and transmission of the kit. Sennheiser's professional wireless vocal set is designed to give you maximum flexibility with a rugged construction and live professional sound. In the kit, there is the E835 wireless mic. There is the XS Wireless 2 receiver, which is made with a metal housing. There are removable antennas, two of them. The receiver features automatic frequency management, meaning that it will shift around as needed if a frequency is unstable. It is also fully tunable, meaning that you can manually control the frequencies as needed. It contains a rack mount kit for either a half or a full rack. So you could twin together two single professional units or you can simply use half and it has a spacer that completes the full rack mounting. There are up to 12 channels available for multiple wireless unit use. And inside the box, quite simply, the, the main components are the E835 microphone and the wireless receiver. However, there are two AA batteries to get the microphone working right away. There's also a carrying pouch for the microphone and a power adapter which does have international plugs on it. In the review, I will take a closer look at the receiver and the microphone primarily, show you a little bit about how it works and give you a close up of what you should expect to see when you buy the unit. And I will talk a little bit about my feelings as I take a tour of the unit as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please hit thumbs up and you can subscribe to the Best Buy channel for more product reviews of the many items available at Best Buy. Let's take a look at the front panel of the receiver. We have our receiver level, our audio, incoming audio level. We have a battery reader, bank assignment, channel assignment, the frequency that we're broadcasting at, and then some information about the antenna. These are controls for setting the banks and the channels and syncing the microphone. It's hard for me to demonstrate this without cutting out the audio. So I will say that there are three main ways that you can operate the unit. One is by scanning available channels so that you don't see it says scan, but when you press this button, sorry, when you press this button, and get to the scan mode and it will scan available channels. If you go to preset mode, well then things are preordained. And in this case, I had this set up as bank two, channel three. And then there's the tune mode where you can really get inside and actually change frequencies. Now you see, as soon as I went to tune, it went to a universal band. So what I would like to do is come back to my bank two channel three settings so that you can always hear the audio. There is a way to synchronize the microphone. There's a button on the end of the microphone and when you push the button, I'll push it now, you saw there that the sync function lit up. I'll do it again, right underneath the word preset. When I'm doing that, my audio is disabled, but if I were to have the sync light light up, 
then I push this button, whatever assignment is here will be sent to the microphone so it lines up right away, which is good. Quick setup for someone who takes a few minutes to learn how to use the unit. Here is a variable gain control. So you'll see now I'm going to turn it up and it's going to get pretty loud or I can turn it down and get much quieter. So hopefully I return to the spot I want to be. So the sound man can do quick adjustments on that level. And of course, we just have our power button right here. As for the back panel, it's quite simple, really. We have detachable antennas. I'm going to detach one now. Let's see how that works with the unit recording. I'm not entirely sure that that's going to have a maintained, sorry, I'm not entirely sure that it maintains a strong signal. Seems to. Anyway, so they're detachable like this and they're flexible so they can be folded into the unit for storage, they can be moved around to perhaps optimize reception if needed. And then they just have this nice metal mounting that's nice and strong, so I like that part too. And you'll see here, we have a balanced output, that's for my XLR cable, which I'm sending to my computer to record. Unbalanced, which would be a line out. Then we do have line and mic settings, which this is actually, I didn't realize it's set to, to line, but if I turn it to mic, it should be different. In fact, I lost a lot of my sound. So that means that I'd have to perhaps boost the gain. If I boost the gain, yeah, there you go. So there's a difference between the mic and the line, and I had to boost the gain once I turned it to the mic. That makes sense. So I'm doing that on the front, I'm making an adjustment now. This SQ is a squelch. The further you are away from the receiver, the less you'll need, and the closer you are from the receiver, you may need more. In my case, I don't need any because there's no background noise, no background interference, but this is used to create a buffer noise threshold in case you have issues with pop-outs or static or perhaps even interference from other microphones, which shouldn't be the case if everything is nice and clean the way the channels are assigned, but you never know. That's the power supply, and that is the antenna. So really a very simple unit with a lot of functionality. The front panel would take a little bit of learning. I had to look at the user guide to really understand what was going on. And the user guide right here, it's a picture guide, very international. They cover all the languages <laughs> with one picture. <laughs> with about two minutes of study, I was able to understand what I needed to do. So that's a good thing. Let's take a look at the microphone now. Now I'm going to take a look at the microphone real quickly here. This microphone is standard with other Sennheiser wireless vocal sets. It has a plastic body, but it does have a metal housing. So as I take a quick look at the capsule, we can see the metal underneath. The 835 microphone is designed for vocalists because it has a slight frequency boost between 3 and 5 kilohertz, which is the sibilance frequency. You'll hear it in the t -t 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 -t. And what it does is it helps cut through musical mixes when there's other instruments that also have that type of sound characteristic. So that's what makes this more optimal for live music situations. The power switch is here. It's green, ready to go. And then you can see that all of the information from the receiver is there. Now you notice that I am actually using my iPhone mic now because I can't talk into the microphone and show you the microphone at the same time. So the audio is no longer that of the microphone. Here is your mute switch. Red is off. Green is on, and all of the information that I see here on the screen matches what I have on my receiver over here. And of course, on the bottom, probably the most important thing for the person using the microphone is the battery status right there, three bars. Apparently, when it's three bars, you're good for about 10 hours. Changing the batteries is not a difficult task. There's a plastic housing, and then right here, Flip open the door, there's two AA batteries inside. One of the things that I like about this microphone is that there's a, a decibel adjuster. So I'll try to get this closer to the camera. 
0, minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. So if, depending on the type of voice and the situation, so if you have a screamer, you might put it down to minus 20, and that just reduces the volume by 20 decibels right away, making it more manageable for sound technicians according to the situation. Minus 10, 0, minus 30. Minus 30 for me is, a, is an extreme setting. Most sound consoles have a minus 20 on them as a basic function. So minus 30 seems like Sennheiser is going the extra mile to take care of everything you need. So that is really that simple. You put the housing back on, it takes three seconds. And then the last feature on a microphone to be aware of is the sync button. So I had mentioned this when looking at the front panel of the console. Well, that's the sync button that you push to synchronize the microphone to the receiver. I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to do a walkabout. I do have kind of thick walls in the studio. And so I think if the wireless reception is strong through the walls, then you get a good idea how it will work in professional situation. From what I can read in Sennheiser's literature, the reception is approximately 75 meters or that's 250 feet under optimal conditions, which should be perfect for stages. If you think that the sound console is nearby to where the action is, where the singers are, or even where the speakers are if you're using the system for any live speaking purposes. So I'll just go through the door here. Heading into the other uh, room, still talking on the microphone, going to turn on the light. There we go. So what you're hearing is the reception through two solid cement walls, huge obstacles. And while I'm moving around, and actually the truth is I don't know what it sounds like right now. We're going to look at it together. So if what you're hearing is what it is. going up the stairs a little bit. I'm actually quite close to the receiver through the wall right now, but you'll see that uh, either it's working or it's not. <laughs> so this is given the idea. The range that I'm working with right now is probably something like 20 feet. I just wanted to give you a small idea of what the wireless range. So we'll go back into the studio now. Back closer to the receiver. Wow. So. I actually just listened back to that little video I made to see if there were any dropouts or static or anything like that in the system, and there's nothing. It sounds just fantastic. So there's some proof for you. The wireless system is solid, stable, and it sounds nice too. You should have confidence using the professional Sennheiser wireless vocal set. I'll conclude the review by saying that I am very happy with this professional wireless vocal system from Sennheiser. They make great quality products. They have for a long time. They're a leader in audio technology and wireless audio technology. So it's really no surprise that everything works really well. What makes the professional system a great choice is the flexibility and quite frankly, something that's important to me is, is how well things are built. So just having the metal chassis on the receiver is a big plus. The microphone is the same kind of microphone that you would find with their regular dual wireless set. It is optimized for vocals in singing or musical situations. The customizability of the receiver when it comes to channels and rack mountability and the flexible detachable antennas gives all the options available for professional use and it's surprising how many different kinds of situations you will find yourself in when using wireless systems professionally. This Sennheiser professional wireless vocal set with the XS wireless 2 receiver and the E835 microphone are great value and you'll be really happy if you get one for your needs. You can read more about this system in my blog post, which is linked below in the description of the video. And you can also visit Best Buy's website to purchase this wireless vocal set. And you'll also find many other wireless microphones and wireless audio technology on their website as well. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to the Best Buy channel for more product reviews from many, many, many different products that you'll find on the Best Buy website. See you next time.